Renee here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in for another one of my videos. Today guys, I am here with one of my most requested uh, videos of all time. I finally decided to sit down and just give you guys what you've been asking for. First of all, before I even get started and give you my information, I'm gonna need for you, yeah, you, 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 all you out there in YouTube land looking at this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my uploads here on my channel. So what I have done is I went back and reviewed all the old videos that I did for you guys regarding Monet and I wrote down all the questions that you girls had for me. I wanna preface this by saying that um, this video is not sponsored by Monet at all. The company does not have anything to do with what I'm about to say in this video. I purchased these products on my own. Just because you know I was a market partner does not mean that I am going to give you guys any false information or I'm going to lie about anything regarding um, my experience with the product. So with that being said and with that out of the way, I just want to go ahead and get started with these questions. Um, the number one question that I have been asked regarding Monet is, do I still use the product? And the answer is, dun, da, 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 no, I do not use Monet um, at this time. Not that there's anything bad or a negative reason for why I'm not using it. It's just that um, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. Can I keep it real with y'all? Can I, can I keep it real on this channel? Can I keep it real? Monet is, and like I did say this in one of my previous videos, Monet is an expensive product. If you're going to use Monet, you got to make sure that you can keep up with it. You got to make sure that you can afford it. You got to make sure that you're going to be able to stay on top of uh, your monthly purchases so that you can continue to use the product in your hair so that you can continue experiencing the wonderful results that the product gives to you. With Monet, um, I want to say one treatment of the products, which is like a shampoo, a conditioner, and maybe a mask or just something along those lines, it's going to run you about, after shipping and handling and all that good stuff, it's going to run you close to $100. So when I say make sure that you can afford to use it and make sure you can afford to keep up with it, make sure that before you even um, decide to take on the whole Monet journey, make sure that you can actually sit aside at least $100 or so so that you can continue to get your products on a monthly basis. So I'm not going to say that you have to um, order every month, but definitely make sure that you have that amount set aside to where you can continue to use the product. Um, one of the questions was, have, have you noticed after washing a couple of times that your hair was drier? Um, I'm not sure if I addressed this in one of my previous videos, but I'm just going to touch on it real quick. You can always look back at my video. Um, I think it was called Monate on Relaxed Hair. I talked a lot about the need to put moisture back into your hair because yes, in the beginning, I did notice that my hair was a little bit drier, but um, not that that's totally a bad thing. It's just you have to know what works for your hair. When you're washing, it does strip it, but you have to go back in. And with African-American hair, you have to go back in and add that moisture, not just when you're relaxing, but when you're uh, shampooing as well. Back in the day, it used to come with a shampoo, a leave-in conditioner, and a mask. And what I was noticing was that that leave-in conditioner, it just was not providing enough moisture. For some people, they don't like that heavy feel on their hair. So the leave-in conditioner may work well for them. But for African Americans, we have to have moisture or our hair will definitely become brittle and it'll break off. So I would suggest, in addition to buying that leave-in conditioner, buy the actual conditioner itself. Um, another question was well it wasn't a question it was a comment my hair is growing but it's still dry i have to perm it once a month instead of every two weeks so first of all i will say that that is an improvement um if you are going from um relaxing your hair um, which is a very damaging process anyway if you're going from every two weeks to relaxing once a month i will say that that is improvement within itself so uh, that's the first part. And then it says, um, any suggestions on getting it straight and keeping it straight in between my perms? Well, um, what I would suggest is in between your relaxers, 
uh, wrap your hair and I will actually do a video on how to wrap your hair properly um, when I was a relaxed girl my hair was growing at such a fast rate that I would have to relax it so much because I was getting in so much new growth from the way that the product was just making my hair grow so what I decided to do and I've even done a video on that I just went ahead and cut everything off because I was tired of the creamy crack I did not want to uh, relax my hair anymore especially if the Monate line was having it grow and flourish as much as it was I didn't see a need to continue putting that relaxer on there so um, what I did was I did the big chop and I switched over from the normal treatment that I was using I switched over to the men's line because the products are um, interchangeably you can even though it says men's line you can still use it and I would actually recommend like for individuals who are experiencing like bald spots and having a, um, a tough time with your hair growing I would actually suggest starting off with the men's line just because it has that highest activated ingredient of the I think it's called the DHT hormone which is the hormone that you know forces your hair to stay in that growing phase longer so I would you know I would recommend starting off with that one if you're having a hard time getting your hair to grow so after I did my big chop that is actually what I switched over to I started using the men's line and my hair started growing so fast and so beautifully and and, um, I'm actually able to wear it in a wrap right now so um, at the end of this video I will include some clips of my natural hair journey after um, I buzz it all off and I will show you guys how it went from you know nothing and just using the men's line to get it you know to get it started and then once it started you know growing and you know getting to where I was comfortable and where I could actually wear it out in a style I kind of switched over and started using other products you know I, I just needed to spend those funds elsewhere so the next question which pack did I start out with in the beginning um, the company was really really new really fresh um, they didn't have nearly as many products as they have right now for you guys so when I started out I want to say they only had three treatment systems available and at that time I used what was then called the balance line and it was um, a shampoo a leave-in conditioner and a mask I'm not sure if they still have it I'm not even sure if they still call it the balance line but that's what I use and like I said because I wanted more moisture in my hair I interchanged between the balance line and I think it was called um, I don't even remember I don't even remember but it came with instead of a leave-in conditioner it came with a full bottle of conditioner so um, I used all the products within that balance line and then I purchased the um, the conditioner from another line just so that I can have all those products together does it work with 4c natural hair or just permed hair okay I did it on permed hair or relaxed hair um, at the time when I was doing Monate um, I was a relaxed girl but after I did the big chop you know I went to natural and I was a 4c or should I say I am a 4c hair textured person or hair textured girl it worked amazingly on my natural hair and I would definitely recommend um, you know individuals with natural hair definitely 4c texture to use it because it works really really well you just have to make sure you hydrate your hair the next question is does it work with locks I have not had the opportunity to try it with locks um, my personal opinion and I'm not even sure if you want to hear my personal opinion but um, if I had locks I probably would not use it and I'm just being 100% honest with you and that is because uh, if you're not using it correctly your hair will become really dry and it will break I'm sorry to say it but with locks um, it has taken you a long time to form those locks years and some people have been growing their locks from birth and with African Americans you know locks are like um, our crown of glory they are our strength 
So I would hate for you to wash your hair with this product and then it becomes so dry that your locks begin to fall off. So I would definitely say not to use it on locks, but if you do decide to use the product, I would say to make sure after you shampoo it that you go in and you take the conditioner, the thick conditioner, and you saturate every lock from root to strand, root to strand, root to strand, because like I say, you do not want your hair to experience any type of breakage and you lose those uh, beautiful warrior locks that you have been growing. So that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, this is just an opinion based video. You know, do with it as you wish. The next question is, any side effects such as headaches, hair loss, shedding, ball spots, etc. Um, once again, uh, I did experience shedding in the beginning, but it was only because I wasn't adding enough moisture back into my hair. But once I got the whole moisture thing under control, I did not experience any shedding. So it started to grow at such a fast rate that I just went ahead and clipped off the relaxed ends of my hair so that all of it could be natural because it was coming in so thick and so full and so fast. Um, I just felt like that would be the easier route to do than to just continue putting my hair through so much by, you know, doing those relaxers because I had to relax. Oh my goodness. I was going once every six months, but it was growing so fast. I was like this other lady. I had to actually start relaxing every two to three weeks. And for me, that was just too much on my hair. That was pretty much, uh, the majority of the questions that, um, I was getting asked when you start using anything new you have to just be aware that your hair is not gonna react the same way as someone else's hair did you have to know your hair you have to listen to your hair and you have to do what your hair likes so for me once I noticed that my hair was a little bit drier, I automatically knew, okay, I need to add moisture. But for some people who don't know that, they may just overlook it and think, okay, well, maybe this is just a part of it and it's going to get better over time. No, it's not going to get better over time. You have to listen to your hair. And you have, and that's pretty much with anything, not just hair. You have to listen to your body. If your body is telling you that, hey, I can't eat this food because it's making me feel heavy. It's making me feel sluggish. I feel lethargic. Like, I'm just not at 100%. I'm not at my best. Why would you continue to put mess into your body that makes you feel like that? It's the same thing with your hair. If you notice that um, your hair is not reacting in the way that it normally does, and it's actually um, doing worse than what it was before, you have to make the, the natural adjustments. You guys, you have to remember that um, Monet is all natural products. The products are natural. There's nothing in the product that can actually hurt or harm your hair. They do use natural ingredients that have been tested to pretty much act in a similar way to um, the way that our normal hair acts. Um, our normal oils and the normal things that our hair produces on a regular basis. I said as you get older, our hair tends to stop producing certain oils that make our hair grow. And what Monate does, it goes in, it mimics the natural oils that our body produces on a regular basis. And like I said, it goes in and it mimics it. It's not, it's not to be a replacement for it, it's mimicking. So when you think about it, if something is mimicking, mimicking the original version of something, you have to continue allowing it to mimic if you want to continue experiencing the same results i hope that's making sense i hope that's making sense let me let me try to use another example um some of the weight some of the pills that people take to make their hair grow in general when you use a hair vitamin a hair vitamin is pretty much going in and is adding something that your body is needing to make your hair grow. After you stop taking those hair vitamins, your hair is gonna go back to the natural, original state that it was to begin with, whether that was short and broken, whatever the case may be, whatever your hair, however your hair was in the beginning, your hair is gonna just go back to that because you have removed or taken away what you were putting into it to make it do what it did right 
Same thing with Monet. If you're shampooing your hair and it is going in providing those nutrients, those oils that you're needing to make your hair grow, the moment that you stop using it, what do you think is going to happen? Your hair is going to try to revert back to its original state. And um, it's going to be a process the same way your hair grows at a process, which with the Monet line, they, they recommend at least... Um, 90 days to see results so that it can go in and pretty much strip out all of the nasty gunky stuff you know that has been packed up in your hair for years it goes in and it just cleans everything out and it starts you anew but once you stop or discontinue using it it's going to try and revert back so i hope i hope i hope i hope what i'm saying is getting across um in a manner that you can understand what I'm saying. So um, hopefully I've answered your questions the best of my ability. Um, I will say this, I am going to start back using the product. I do have some, I am gonna start back using it um, on my 4C hair. I know a lot of you girls are wondering what the process is gonna be like on um, on natural 4C hair. So that is the next journey that I'm gonna go on. So if you are a 4C hair girl and you wanna see um, my whole journey with Monate on 4C hair, make sure you keep tuning in and I will make sure to um, keep you guys in the loop on what I'm gonna do. Suck the life right out of my veins when you spoke my name. Tips the scales, yeah, you keep me sane. I'll be the clouds beyond your skies, will flutter by like butterflies. I'll be the blue inside your eyes, your crazy loving keeps me paralyzed.